It's pretty exciting. Is it like at the bottom or at the top? Uh, I don't. I didn't really read what the description was. So let's see. Oh, it's at the top. Oh, she's just here. All right. I didn't expect such a big crowd at the hearing. Mm, sh should I take the stand myself? What do you think, little kitty? Ah, maybe we can do a little show of hey, wait. um pause. Raise your left paw if you think I should testify, or your right paw if. W What's wait. happening? You raised your left paw before I even finished my sentence. No, that doesn't count. Let's try again. Okay, if you raise your right paw, I'll let someone else handle it. Like me. Hmm. Right paw, huh? Well, I did actually want to tell everyone the truth myself. Let's give this another shot. Wait, what's the context behind this? I don't remember. The if hearing is about to start. There was context. If you would please join us. Now? Y yes, Madame Julia. I'll be there in a minute. Hello. I just spawned in. Bro, I don't remember. What's the context? I'm sure there was like a message thing that said. It's, uh, it's awkward. Really nice appreciate you coming. I just handed over all the evidence we gathered from Mingyang's studio and the exiles camp to the patrollers. Now the Shangyun Art Exchange can't deny the fact they were producing and trading art forgeries. What? When did we talk about this? But there is one more thing. The patroller said we still need someone to testify in the hearing. You do it. Yes, let's go. But, but I've, I've never spoken in front of so many people before. Now that's so stupid. Okay. What? Bro. Wait, how did I do this before? It feels like this, no? Yeah, it was. Okay. How about you do the talking and um I'll add I think I have so many screenshots of her just like doing that pose. I, I think. Well she's done that in the past as well. Wait, not there. Um, you know, I kind of forgot the details. My lack of artistic expertise to give the Shangyun Art Exchange a chance. I mean, I'm not lying. I did like actually forget. You're right. Then I'll I'll do it myself. Yes, I get peer pressured. Relax. Don't worry. I've got your back. Just remember, you're the only one who can lay out the truth. Be a good introvert. I'm given for everyone to see. You're right. I was the one who chose to uncover the truth behind this case. I can't Bro, what is happening? Now, not when it I can't most. remember. That's crazy. I'll give it my all. I promise. Let's go. I don't remember, did I run into the story quest before? No, I just started. Wait, wait, wait. Does it say anything here? No to prepare for new test. You're still a from she said she was uh okay we literally don't know okay cool, cool cool so yeah so that was the message she just said no she needs help okay cool 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 forgive me i remember when you know for this let's bring out this team and give her a weapon so you can like actually do something uh, you're good, and you're good. Bro, my, ch my Chang is so ass. Well, like, in normal speaking, it's not, but it's, with the weapon, it should be looking way better. This hearing is now in session. Let us begin. Okay. Wait, this was from the trailer, like this guy. There's like some bad guy. First, 
A brief overview of the case before us. Miss Jiajie alleges that the guilty party, Ming Yan, implicated Damn, Ju Yao has some lipstick on. That's crazy. Coerced into committing art fraud under duress. Therefore, her mental state was adversely affected, which led to her committing actions contrary to her will. Today, okay. based on new evidence provided by Miss Jiajie and the result of this hearing, we will determine whether to revisit Ming Yan's charges. And consider if the Shangyun Art Exchange is indeed guilty of selling illegal art forgeries. What? With all due respect, this doesn't match what we discussed before. Mr. Baitsu, I remind you that any evidence or arguments presented before and during the hearing are valid. If you would like to add further information, you're welcome to do so at any point. Now, without further ado, Either party may begin their opening statement. Madame Juya, the, the situation is... Madame Juya, as the head of the Shan Yuan Art Exchange, I, Baitzer, must clear our name and seek justice here today. You can just like go in like that? That's there are two points annoying. I'd like to address. Firstly, the authenticity of our artworks remains unimpeachable. Secondly, Ming Yan's provocative creations stem solely from her own greed and vanity. She alone should bear responsibility for the assault. Throughout my tenure at the Art Exchange, our foremost principle has been that of integrity, a well-known fact. And yet, integrity in business is not enough to stave off discord. We are aware of certain painters rejected by the art exchange, nursing grudges and resorting to threats. They bombarded us with spite what? and slander, causing a public uproar simply because they didn't get what they wanted. Okay. The but this court thing goes crazy, you know that. Slanderous insinuations that paint some crazy setup. Fraudsters. Then I'm afraid justice will never be served. Please control yourself, Mr. Bite, sir. <sighs> Forgive me, madam. But if this injustice persists, I will have no choice but to sue them for harming the Shan Yu and Art Exchange's reputation. They have damaged the trust we built with our clients. I demand they compensate us for our losses and issue a public apology. Such disgraceful behavior will not do right, can you us. just move on and our shut up for a second? God. He's just yapping. He hasn't really said anything, any right? Ill intent. Yeah. Am I gonna say something? From Shan Yuan Art Exchange before, they were good quality and their service was decent. Hard to believe they'd be involved in something like this. The honest always get the short end of the stick. But who's Ming Yan? A painter? Never heard of him. All right, can we? Can you say something? Nobody trying to get attention using the Shan Yuan's name. Why is the art exchange always in the middle of some controversy? Order! Order! You may continue your statement. I... Uh... Madam, allow us to present our account of the events. Oh, good chat music. This all really began three days ago. I was entrusted to investigate a certain arcane artist in the Tiger's Maw. Wait, I remember some, something like that. Or do I? Or are we just gonna get a show? I remember, there was like a mission. I had to do something in Tiger's Maw. I don't remember what. It might mean something else. Okay, we are getting shown. 
So we're the one who done this task. Strange around the mine lately. Figured you're just the one to untangle this mess with your knack for solving mysteries. You'll figure this out in no time. What I don't happened? Know if you've ever heard of it, but there's a special folktale in Jinjo. Okay. Word has it there's this mysterious arcane artist whose paintings come to life as they paint, as if each brushstroke has a life of its own. Once their canvas dries, whatever they've painted leaps right off the page. Mythical creatures, the whole shebang, all real as day. The thing is, no way. That's crazy. Paintings, well, they vanish into thin air. <laughs> Not like this. Um, hold up, give me a second. Like a forte. I've never yeah. heard of such a unique forte. Well, Lately, who has for your opinion? I've been receiving reports about eerie monsters wandering the mine at midnight. Some witnesses even ran into them more than once. These monsters, they look like paintings from a distance. But approach them, and they're as docile as can be. Reading these reports, I couldn't shake the tale of the arcane artist from my mind. Sure. Okay. Some say it's just a prank or some new tacit discord variant. But with rumors swirling, folks are getting jittery can't let things escalate that's why i reached out to you it's a good choice good pay good sir <laughs> let me take it from Great. here Counting on you, to you track know this case the key 24 was like oh you better pay me otherwise oh, blah 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 want to chat up the witnesses? Got their it's like right such a cringe it. line like it kind of worked in genshin or was it genshin or Nah, even, nah, it doesn't even work. It's just such a deadline. Okay. Make it fast. Oh, I need money. How huh? funny. Ah, that's it for today. Time for a break. Oh, hey there. Need something? Oh, you've come to the right guy. I was actually the first to see those weird things. Mm, don't say. I was playing chess with the old miners until midnight. Then headed Man. home alone. On my way back, I heard these strange moans like some kind of monster was out there. At first moans. I thought they were tacit discords and I was ready to bolt. Mm. But then I realized they were different. These monsters, they were being drawn to something. Curiosity got the better of me. So I took a step closer. And saw that they had these strange features. Gleaming eyes gnarled horns and dark green bodies covered in slimy liquid to be related do you think they're related did Gupon tell you about that old folktale you know I did see some people standing nearby just some shadows really because it was so dim well the light was flickering in the wind so I couldn't make out their faces but I knew something was weird with the scrolls they had in their hands every time they moved more monsters appeared Later, I told everyone about it, and Gupon was there. She freaked out, uh, saying it was just like the Daga just pawned arcane artist. Uh, I'm not sure, but I overheard them talking. No, actually, arguing would be more accurate. Anyway, I got worried those monsters might attack me, so I bolted and didn't catch what they were arguing about. No, well, you saw that. I do remember? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of going there, are you? Whatever those monsters are, they're unidentified and dangerous. Bro, do, you do you know who I am? Be careful, all right? Don't worry. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you don't look like you work at the mine. Can I help you with something? Uh, oh yes, eh? that strange event. It's the talk of the town right now. Is it? I've conducted several investigations and found that those monsters tend to appear around midnight. Their locations seem random though. Fortunately, they haven't caused much harm. I think it's because they always show up and vanish in the dead of night. If you ask me... Hmm. These monsters are a new type of tacit discord. Since they're unrecorded, our terminal can't trigger an alarm when they're nearby. For safety reasons, we have sure. increased our patrols around the mine. Could be related. 
Do you mean the mysterious painter who can bring fantastical creatures to life? Hmm, that could explain it. But a forte tied to painting is rare. Mm. Aside from the blurred silhouettes I saw that night, I remember hearing voices. Interesting. Like people talking. The voices came from where those silhouettes were, but they sounded like vague muttering. Thinking about it now, if it was a human voice, how could someone get so close to those monsters without crying out for help? Thanks. You didn't really say much. Make it fast. I will go investigate. I've gathered enough information. Have it's we? time to check the scene where those monsters were spotted. There's something ahead. In the way you're making me walk. That figure. That paintbrush. Could it be? Well, what figure? What paintbrush? What are we looking at? Nothing here. That's odd. Did I just imagine that? Oh. Who? Who dares touch my shoulder? <laughs> okay. Hello. R Rover, you here? I was just about to get smacked. Sorry, did I scare you just now? No. How could you? <laughs> Finding Her face. Why are you lying? The night often sparks my creativity. Don't tell me. Blood doesn't believe a word not. that she's saying. That's crazy. Perception 100. Well, more like 20. Not that difficult. Find out who they are. Why are you like I lied to you. I just fidget so much. I didn't want to drag anyone else into this. Why? Bringing painted creatures to life, making fantasies real. It sounds like a fairy tale, but when the arcane artist first caught people's attention in Jinjo years ago, it was more than just a tale. Wait, but now, you can do that, no? making the rounds again. Most don't see the dangers it holds. As someone who feels the threat, I I want to uncover the truth before it's too late. Oh, she's kind of like giving up her voice. She like sounds serious. That's pretty cool. And the deeper voice and louder yes, as well. There was once an artist who could create paintings that felt so real, you could almost step into them. But these paintings... They strayed from the artist's original intentions and caused a lot of trouble. Okay. I don't know who's behind these latest events, but if it's really the arcane artist, their paintings will bring nothing but trouble. That that's why I I have to stop them to prevent the past from repeating itself. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at investigating. So I haven't found any major clues yet. I'm here for the arcane artist, but also hoping to meet an old acquaintance. Maybe he knows what happened in the mine. Hmm. I'll go. Is that so? Oh, uh, okay. Did yeah, you get those glasses checked out? They shouldn't be moving that much. Just from moving your head, kind of. Oh. Oh my god. She's an avatar person. I don't remember what they were called. Like the avatar movies. Not the Make anime or cartoon show. Something. American anime. Oh, this guy. Hey! 
Hey, Juju. Long time no see. You need more pigments already? N no, not yet. Okay, and this must be the rover. That name is so nice like to meet you. weird to pronounce. You? Didn't realize you and Juju knew each other. Juju, Juju. Like. Loki sounds racist when you say it. <laughs> but I've never had the chance to introduce myself uh, properly. A great moment for it. Here's the thing, Rover. I can't say I know Jujer very well, but I do know she's got this quirk where her courage tends to crumble right when it's crunch time. So, when it comes to introducing herself to you, I'd bet money on it. She's been mentally rehearsing it for forever before she got the guts to take action. No, it's not like that. Judge, you can't keep avoiding things. You've got to take action or you'll never get what you want. You only live once, right? Okay. But is it the best thing for her, though? Yes. Mr. Shilang is right. Shilang. I've actually been meaning to tell you something. Hello. My name is Zhe Zhi. We have met before, but I like to make I am pronouncing the name ever in my life. I would really like Even if I learn Chinese. To friends. Of course. Hello. I'd I guess. be happy to. Hello, Juju. Hey, what are you waiting for? She did it. <laughs> uh, I um. Okay, I can do this. Um, Rover. That was a pretty obvious slip of the tongue. Okay, so it was funny. <clears throat> nice to meet you. My name is Zhe Zhi. I'm a, a painter. I take art commissions and strive to create beautiful paintings. Mm. I, I'm not being very articulate, but, but I hope we can be friends. Yeah, I'll go along with it. Hello. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're different from up another festival, right? How sweet. I must say, that was crazy. I've never seen Low key. Judge this nervous since she first became one of my cherished patrons. Well, wait, Mr. Shilla. We're actually here today to talk about the tale of the arcane artist. Oh, I know the tale, but I've never come across this mystical maestro myself. <sighs> if such an artist truly existed, I'd be the first to know without a doubt. Okay. I supply ore Spill to the beans. pigment manufacturers and sometimes serve as their sales proxy. So most painters in Jinjo come to my shop to buy pigments. And suspicious? Hmm. Well, pigments aren't flying off the shelves these days. Just a few regulars, you know? Oh, but those ore buyers from a while back, they seemed a bit suspicious. They bought heaps of leftover ore, the cheapest type, and told me not to let anyone know they got the ore here. Okay. People don't usually buy that stuff. Oh, wait. Jiju, didn't you buy some once? A long time ago, right? I remember you saying you couldn't afford the fancy pigments, so you made your own. That stuck with me. So yeah, that's it, yeah. Ask for leftovers? 
I paid extra attention. Are you sure you can tell us this? I thought they asked you to keep it a secret. It's not like they paid them. Or bribed them or something. They turned out to be thieves who stole from me during the night. But when I found out, I reported the theft to the patrollers. And that was the end of it. Thieves don't deserve my business or respect. Of course, help yourself. Indigoite, Verdite, Azure Flares, Scarlet Thorn, Cloudstone, Ochre Stone, Ochre Stone, Ochre Stone. What? How do you pronounce that? Amber Cluster. Uh, these guys are some cheap. Only a couple K. Nah. Okay. But this music is like low key kind of crazy. Um. Okay, sure. Anyway. I'll figure it out later. Rover? What? H hey! Rover! She just spawned in. That's crazy. What brings you here? It's been ages since we last met. Yep, oh, intro of the next word. Been pretty busy Combo. lately, so I haven't had the time to catch up with you. And Chich is here too. Hiya. Do you remember me? We met at the moon chasing festival. Oh, are you all right? You don't look well. Do you know how? <laughs> I'm going to faint. <laughs> Hello? No, it's not. Uh, no, thank you. The painting we had you do for us during the festival is awesome. Everyone loves it. So we put it up on the wall. Really? <laughs> I'm glad you all like it. Nice, come back. Like okay. To invite you to our station so we can formally thank you in person. Wait, how about coming to the station with me today? Are you heading back to the city? Uh, but we're still investing. I. Uh, okay. How about no? Are you sure? Not a good time. Nope. Oh, I get it. In that case, it's probably not the best time for a get together. Sorry. That's okay. Now just tell me if you need any help. We don't need that any help. You can go back now. Thanks for self inserting for no reason. But I mean, it was pretty funny. What's odd? This whole interaction. The monsters haven't caused any more trouble since we got here. Right now, we're talking to witnesses and trying to figure out what triggered the incident. Did something just happen over there? Don't tell me it's a tacit discord. Hold on, just got a message. Seems like they really are stirring up trouble again. Sorry, but I gotta go check this out. Sh should we go as well? Hmm. You could be right. Why not? But there's one other thing. Why she sounds so ominous? After Rover and I bumped into each other. We decided to investigate the surroundings and follow patroller Chisha to the scene of the incident. It was there we learned about the details of Mexico. Okay, what's up with the Mexico filter? And the truth behind the tale of the arcane artist. Once Jojo has the paintbrush in her hand, she begins to. Oh, I think that was like the worst pronunciation yet. <laughs> She'll be fine making that was crazy. on her own now. I just I don't blame them. I wouldn't even try if I was them. I would just be like. Can we call her something else? Just for the global version? That'll be nice. Give her like a nickname or something. To be struggling. Sorry 
to trouble you. Thank no, I wouldn't. Uh, wait. Uh, I haven't said why. What I'm trying to say is... If I had been clearer, you wouldn't have had to explain things to Chisha for me. No. Oh. She's really right. nice. It's just... We're not that close, and I'm not sure how to respond to how friendly she is. I didn't want to be rude, so I... I couldn't bring myself to turn her down. It's I'll okay. I'll do my best not to trouble you and express my feelings properly next time. Thank you. More investigation, bruh. Make it fast. Anymore? No. Thanks for your help, Rover. We caught the culprit before anything worse could happen. We were lucky to have you here. What happened? To the preliminary examination, we suspect that these tacit discords were agitated by the frequency fluctuations from a scroll painting found at the scene. The energy remaining what? in the painting How? was generated by its creator's forte, nearly overclocking. But the painting assured, was overclocking. And contained the energy. The painting needs to be thoroughly examined to identify its connection with the monsters and eliminate any... Thanks for all your help. We'll take it from here. What? What's up with the skip, though? She fessed up when I first started talking to her, but clammed up when I tried to dig deeper. Well, honestly, she seemed a bit off to me. But we don't have time for that now. We gotta clean up the scene and get the damage under control. Okay. You sure can. Let's scroll. I was about to overclock apparently. Oh, no, wait, the painter was about to overclock, bro. I don't know what they're talking about. That's crazy. Why? Ning Yang? Why are you... Yes, we used to take painting lessons together. You! Uh, I... I... I didn't... I... Uh, I hurt them. It... It was a mistake. I... Okay. I'm alone. <laughs> that worked well, didn't it? Okay. Hello. Thank goodness I wasn't hurt. It was so close. Part of it, I guess. I saw that painter. She looked like she was losing it. I'm talking shouting, waving her paintbrush around like she was sweeping the sky. I might be off here, but I swear those things on her scroll started squirming around before the whole swarm of monsters exploded out of thin air. They started to whack and thwack people all over the place. I was terrified and ran away as fast as my legs would take me. Okay. Not super clearly, but when I was running for my life, I heard her screaming at all those creatures, all like, Stop! Don't do this! I think she might have been trying to stop them from hurting people. Or Oh, my head. Oh, it hurts. Only a bit. It looked like she was arguing with someone right before the weird visions appeared. Ugh. I heard stuff like, don't stop me, I've, I've already won, and who doesn't want fame and fortune? Mm. That's a good thing they caught that painter. Can't imagine what could have happened otherwise. Well, I've met my fair share of artists, but none that would gamble with lives for the sake of their work? Oh, that's a first for me. All right, okay. That's strange. You're back. I think I've figured it out. Have 
I? You, you figured it out already? The painting blurs the line between reality and illusion, causing whoever sees it to experience hallucinations. So, Mingyan channeled her forte into the painting, creating temporary phantasms. People saw her abilities and what does phantasms the even mean? Believing she was the arcane artist from the tale. Like illusions? Like the monsters described in the rumors were probably just exaggerated phantasms seen by scared people at night. In fact, okay. I had sensed something odd at the mine. But after we met, I thought it was coming from you. So I didn't give it much attention. Come to think of it now, it might have been Ming Yang's forte fluctuation. So she was there at the same time we were. I didn't even notice her presence. But what could have driven her to create such dangerous paintings? personal gain from what i know of her she doesn't seem like someone who would take such risks for personal gain okay she kept squeezing my hand and trying to tell me something but i couldn't understand what she was saying i think she wants me to continue the investigation maybe there's more to this story than i thought besides I don't recall her having a forte before. I mean, those can't just happen, Maybe right? something to do with me. Okay. I'm in. Huh? Uh, are you sure? I definitely won't say no to your help. Actually, I... I've wanted it since we last met at the mine. Wait, I swear I already said that with the help, no? to decide to be honest i haven't really thought it through i think then hmm. i remember meeting ming yang in an art studio in jinzhou before i wonder if she kept going there after i left should that be our first stop she may have left some of her artwork behind that could be a good start I've never tried to investigate anything, so I'm not sure if this is the way to go. I think it is. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. After learning about the details of the assault, we decided to push forward with the investigation to get to the truth. Pointless! The witnesses on the scene made it clear that it was all because of Ming Yan's greedy ambition. See, these are we're talking like in real time. My statement, Mr. Baitzi. Oh, okay, okay. Why would she flash it before if she can do that? Say that. <sighs> yes. Oh, we're here. The art studio. My memory did serve me right. Looks like she's been ah, the festival's still going Let's on. Let's find the clues. Okay. Name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just climb on everything, why not? white jade paper has a rich history its smooth fine texture holds ink beautifully exactly what you want for more delicate brushwork countless masterpieces both old and new were painted on this paper like china's voyage to yum mountain and ealing's chishi's dawn of spring both two good examples whoops i got carried away wait there's a discount sticker on the wrapping and it looks quite new Yes, White Jade Hall runs a yearly sale. I attended it two days ago and bought paper with this same packaging. Ming Yang likely okay. bought her paper there too. 
Half of the stock has already been used, which means she was painting day and night until the incident. Different papers result in different artistic effects. Real artists can always spot these differences and choose the right paper to showcase various styles. White jade paper is my Ooh. absolute favorite, but because it's so expensive, I can only afford to buy oh, it when there's a she's going yapping sale. mode. I can't because you're talking about her deal, so I stock up whenever I can. Hobby, go, I guess. <laughs> all the boxes home, but I must say, it's worth it. Really? Then. I'll count on you next time. She already booked a date. That's crazy. We have the same painting. The rover race is on point as always. Works is remarkably similar. Even if we use as always. techniques, our similar styles mean we should finish a painting in about the same time. Mm. Once a painter holds a paintbrush in their hand, they won't stop until every detail meets their standards. It becomes an obsession. I guess this is true for most painters. And what do we have? There is a difference. The brushwork on this one, see how heavy it is? You can tell Ming Yang was in low spirits. And this one, the strokes are light and fluid. That tells me she was happy when she painted this. The feelings a painter mm. has during the process of creation often linger in the brush strokes without them knowing. They're present in every line, even if the artist tries to hide it. Yes, to me, painting is like a window into the heart of the artist. When words fail, these feelings can be depicted through brushstrokes instead. Huh. It is strange, though. She keeps reproducing the same painting over and over, using techniques that aren't her usual style. Waters and mountains rest by the pain. Valleys and peaks in the dream remain. Colors of vanity washed away. The painted world fades, forgotten today. This artwork is titled Serenity of Xiehua Village. It captures the scenic landscape seen from the village itself. Her clothes? Ah, the pigment! When did I get all my clothes? No. Huh? Not like this. It came off with just a little wipe. Hmm. It shouldn't come off the fabric so easily. Yeah, definitely. It's like real paint. What does that mean? Hmm. Looks like there's stains from ink and paint that have been washed out over time. Mingyan could have improvised her clothing as a canvas for her ideas. Oh, okay. I used to do this as well. Whenever nature inspired me and I was short on paper, I paint rough outlines onto my clothes. After all, fabric used to be a common art material. Besides, using clothes does help to cease fleeting inspiration, don't you think? It's a shame the clothes are stained for yeah, yeah, sure. But it's worth it to see how different inks behave on fabric. So she was using like stuff that could be easily wiped off. Yo, what the uh, 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 okay, basically she was hired by the thing, the art place. She's not happy. Okay, so then she started using the Forte, but they attract TDs. Okay. So she basically had some a deal How with them. This happen? Because of her forte, but as she was getting better, he started attracting TDs and The 
The Shengyun Art Exchange is a renowned institution Something like that. that manages the exchange of calligraphy and paintings in Huanglong. For an artist to have their work selected is a great honor, bringing with it immense prestige. According to Ming Yang's diary, the art exchange prestige. has been collaborating with her until some terrible mishap occurred. But I have some other thoughts about it. Being picky about one's work is second nature to an artist. I'm no exception. There's never been a moment when I saw my art outshining someone else's. I've always admired my fellow artists, hoping that one day I could be as good as them, perhaps even surpass them. I kept painting and improving, but no matter how hard I tried, I always felt it wasn't good enough. <sighs> this needs to be refined. It's not quite there yet. Still short of perfect. Will my client be disappointed? I had these kind of thoughts every day while I painted. It started creeping into my daily life too. It's true that one might find motivation in these thoughts. Well, I think Camellia 100%. Lead one astray. I don't I really know if Gian is like Morph anymore. Until I like, it's all about grouping and grouping isn't really a necessary thing to so. My emotions fully so yeah, Camellia would be the best. This is of the greatest importance to me. But if I found myself in the same But I don't know what she does, so I don't know how good she's gonna be when she comes out. Perhaps but Jian Jian is eh, it's kinda mid, so she was you can think of skipping him. Was looking for a way out. I can't just turn a blind eye and let them charge her. There must be a way to uncover the truth and save her. Especially like if you have like other DPSs. You don't need Jian. recipe I'm not familiar with medicinal herb residue she must have been making okay, why did it take so long to skip clean. that line this must be the leftover residue she didn't get around to cleaning up these herbs were used for medicine oh so those plants I saw in the pharmacy weren't just for decoration uh, I've never tried myself when I get sick, I usually just wait it out. My family always brought True. Me remedies. Same and actually. Soups. I never thought about how they were made. Sorry, I'm just not very. Not that big on medicines. Bro, how long are we gonna stay in this place, day? I mean, then, okay. I'll share it with you. The vase must have been on that cabinet, judging by where it fell. No way. Looks like the cabinet used to be over there, but something bumped into it, and that's why the vase got knocked over. I bet the water on the floor is from the fishbowl. Hmm. Huh. Why is that watermark in the shape of a gold puff? <gasps> okay, I figured it out. Mm. That must be the reason. Rover will definitely be impressed with my deductive skills. Oh yeah. Come on then. Oh my god. Like the film with her is that like this isn't like knocking over the vase and causing it to shatter. Oh she likes her so much. Blah blah blah. I think she's just genuinely just like Realizing excited to like air stuff with friends i guess window. it's not like a love thing pretty cool that's what i mean like yeah like these characters in this patch kind of like they're not ah, 
as impressive, I guess, but they do have like their own like personal attractions that are interesting. I thought it was a popular trend. Sorry, I need to improve my investigations. Like, I think the whole thing with, like, being an introvert I was done well. It's just, like, the whole introvert thing is just, like, a... Like, an appealing thing, I guess. I don't know. Like, you can't really get much content out of that, let's say. Other than, you know, just... tumbling over your words or something like that. Over and over again. I jump to conclusions. I'll do better next time. Whereas the previous characters had uh, other advantages over these ones. Oh yes, these are phantasms I can create with my brush. They only exist for a short while. I haven't done this for a long time. I'm a bit rusty now. Yes, what? I rarely need to use my forte in daily life. When it comes to painting. I prefer the traditional way. It helps me to understand my progress and improve my skills. Oh, you An paint for me in battle. Forte is indeed mesmerizing, nearly flawless, but that's not my goal. So, I've used this ability less over time. Hmm. But it's fine to use it for the investigation. Yes, it could be related to my forte. Okay. Mm -hmm. But why can't we like have missions where like we involve more characters, man? Mm. Like it's not supposed to be your character for like Where's like anyone else, man, that I care about? Like all these NPCs, it's like, oh, I just don't care, man. Even for Zhang Liao, it was about his friend, and like I don't care about him, bro. It's just kind of dead. Okay. This might be related to the Shangyun Art Exchange and Mingyang's breakdown. Let's follow these tracks and see where they lead. It was cool and cinematic, but from the studio led us to an exiles camp. Finally, some there, content. We found new clues that pointed to a hidden player behind all of this. No, you don't say. I do like the style of like being in the future and like, going back in time throughout this whole thing. I watched something, a story that was like this recently. I don't know if it was a gacha game or something else. But yeah, this trope is cool. I guess. The trolley is worn. Maybe it carried something very heavy. Like what? Could oh yeah, the like loads of ores. Ore, yeah. Made pigments from them, and then moved the pigments elsewhere. Could the buyers Mr. Shilong mentioned be the ones who stole the ore? Let's see. Oh. Well, that's what it looks like now. Scarlet Thorn, Indigoit, and other ore. These match Indigoid. the materials for pigments listed on Mr. Shilong's that makes, That's how you pronounce that, yeah? Makes sense. In the goit. No, it's what the leftover ore. And notice that these pigments were handcrafted from these specific ores. Standard pigments adhere well and last a long time, but these makeshift pigments smear with the slightest touch. They are similar. Yep. Did she buy these low quality pigments from the exiles? But why did these people break into her studio? Or maybe to get them back, just to like pick the sales, I guess. Who are you? Uh, Who are you? Hello. Uh, we are. By paintings. Here to buy painting? Yes. That's not how this works. Go on, get out of here. Get out of here. Well, you're actually Shut up. Paintings. 
She wasn't in her studio, so we thought we could ask around. Huh? Okay, then. My bad. <laughs> it's okay. nothing. Just wait for her here. When she leaves, it usually doesn't take long for her to return. You know her? Know her? We go way back. She's okay in our books. Though she hasn't had the easiest run either. She helped us out a while back. Guess you could call us friends. She even gifted us a painting. It's somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. We're no fancy connoisseurs, but even we can tell that girl can paint. Mm. I kind of like it myself. It's lively, bright, almost like you could touch the freedom and joy she felt painting it. Is that the same voice actress as her? Can't recall anything noteworthy. No, it's not. It's somewhere else. My guess? She's dabbling in some new secretive art piece. I spotted her taking risky stabs at painting out in the wild. Well, now that you mention it, I do remember her talking about making art you could step into or whatever. But her little art excursion stirred up some unstable frequencies. We warned her, but did she listen? I like the like the two right, or three animations that she has. Tried to steer her clear, and what do I get? A lecture. Artists. That kind of <laughs> makes sense. To what she's talking about? Blank, aren't they? Sorry to interrupt, but mind if I ask what you normally do for a living? I mean, they're exiles. Us? Oh, the usual. A bit of hunting, some gigs here and there, just the everyday grind. I'm just gonna let it rip. Uh, Let's see. Oh, right. <laughs> you reminded me. We do make and sell pigments occasionally. Oh yeah, Ming Yan buys from us often. We give her the lowest price, just as friends do. Hmm. Oh, we don't have to kill exiles? That's crazy. I have an idea. Yes. Oh, we're gonna kill I them. <laughs> neither of these exiles nor Minion has told the truth. I noticed some of the exiles' hands were blackened. The thought suddenly hit me. What if it's from constant exposure to ink? If so, they must be making a lot of pigments and ink sticks. What they lied to us. The painting they showed us and the artworks in the studio. How could they? They all match what Ming Yang described in her diary. Her diary shows us she had major mood swings, which really affected her art. All these strange things started happening after the Shenyun Art Exchange got involved. Good idea. Okay, I guess we just wait for a while. Make it fast. Hello, we're back. <laughs> Tell me the truth. I hear people talking. Ah, let's see what they're talking about. I'll use my terminal to record it. Just in case. I really want to skip that, but... Nah, let's listen. I mean, it's probably gonna end up in a fight anyway. Probably. Right? But I might, might as well listen to them. Oh, Mr. Baitzer stopped by again. Grumbling about the delay in getting Ming Yan's paintings to the Shan Yuan Art Exchange. If Yin Feng hadn't pushed her, she wouldn't have gotten hurt. Now she can't even paint. And our order is gonna be late. Hey, hey but why did she get pushed? I just did what I always do. What was that? She's been rebellious and a bit too smart for her own good lately. I just wanted her to keep her head down and work. Who knew she'd crack and cause that mess? Luckily, I slipped away and the patrollers didn't suspect me. It's no big deal. I pinned it all on Ming Yan, so we're in the clear. Someone was here earlier asking about her case. No patrollers, but do you think they could find out what we did? Doubtful. They might notice we're making pigments here, but that's it. It doesn't matter if they find out. We pose as exiles. And what doesn't an exile do? But we should be careful. Remember what Mr. Baitzer warned us about. Keep these things on the down low. And if anyone finds out, they can't be allowed to trace it back to the Shan Yuan No exchange. way. That's crazy. So the Shan Yuan oh, exchange out. has been involved in Ming Yang's case right from the start. 
What now? No wonder they got all shifty when we brought a Mingying earlier. It was his signature on Mr. Shilan's transaction record. Yes. When I asked him about the incident. He put all the blame on Ming Yan, saying she had ulterior motives. The exiles we questioned during the day did the same, trying to divert attention and cover up their own involvement at the scene in the first place. These distractions led us to concentrate solely on Ming Yang, ignoring other possible angles. Hmm. I have a theory, but we need that batch of paintings they mentioned to test it. But there's so many more people in the camp now. How should we get in? Okay. Okay, like that's it. Okay. How do we have exile clothing? Oh, not this again. This should do the trick. Now let's see what information. Oh, some emotion in Rover's voice. Camp. That's crazy. The trick. That was good. Hello. <sighs> Never thought I'd get worn out from something this light. Yeah, that'd be nice. Thanks. I'll go take a breather then. Right. And this exam model has had us as well. That's crazy. Warehouse. Damn. But actually, not really. Just I don't know. It looks nice, I guess. Uh, hello. Rinse, grind, separate the pigments, then thin. You actually start with the thinning. Uh, you're right. Wait a minute. How do you know how to make paint? Uh, I thought you were talking in your sleep. What a nerd. That's what I'm saying. True. Controlled painters. It's shaking down. Family blackmailed. It's close to squatting. Not on watch list. Moving or shoot for a while. Under watch for a while. Give it a few more days. May need to take them out. Hmm. That sounds I can't believe the number of nice. Involved. They know where they all live too. These addresses are not too far from each other. So the art exchange must be managed. This camp is likely the hub. For Brother the skipping has to chill out. transportation and supplies. I wonder if it's because the English lines are longer, but they had just haven't like looked through them properly. Artists to create forgeries. They have to stop. Uh, okay. And then this guy. Damn. That's a lot of money. I would like that. These paintings are all fakes. I don't remember the real ones circulating the market. How has this managed to be kept from the public for so long? They risk being exposed if they transport through ports. Not to mention the threats from the Shangyuan Art Exchange. We should look for more clues. I can jump. Nice. I want out of this. Impossible. We've never had anyone quit from a deal. Besides, you've already taken the money. You can have the money back. Every penny of it. I just want out. Please. Yeah, don't worry, guys. I'm not listening to you. You we'll you confidential like information or something. Seeing our entire operation? You know what? Could work something out. But it'll come at a small fee. Gotta have what do you want? I'm not clicking the to skip. That's everything from our talk yesterday, boss. She's still holding her cards close. Keep an eye on her for now. If she tries anything, take her out. Understood. That's crazy. Damn. That's kind of sad. Low key. I'm just gonna walk out of camp now. I'm 
to still the camp. Oh yeah, I remember. What is this? I don't remember this place. This must be the warehouse they were talking about. Damn, we're over chillax, man. Run it back too much. They're all from the list. This batch is all Serenity of Shehua Village. Ming Yang's work. Okay. These aren't just simple copies anymore. It's obvious now. She was working with them to create forgeries for her own gain. In the end, this is the path she chose. I, I suspected as much, though I couldn't quite... I mean, I wasn't sure until I saw the paintings myself. Damn. Unlucky. Wait, this painting? It's the Serenity of Xiehua Village original, not a copy. Shouldn't it be at the studio? Oh, I see it now. This was the painting they stole from the studio. Hmm. These copies, they're almost identical to the original. But there are some details, subtle ones, that reflect the artist's quirks, not just their technique. The painter copied them well. But if you look closely, you'll find that the finishings are a bit, um more rigid in some areas just much about the original painting well that's because i wait look out i don't think she's the one that painted them yes Get out of here, man. No, no. I'm just catching my breath. No, no. But where did these tacit discords come from? As I mentioned, the link to me and TDs. Cause the painting's frequencies to fluctuate, attracting the monsters. But she's not even here. It's just. I'm not really sure why her mood is, um, reacting to us. Maybe... Could it be because I'm here? She did see what I could do with my resonance ability once. Ever since I saw her diary, I've been wondering. Maybe it was seeing my ability that inspired her to start creating those phantasms. Maybe that's why she began to lose herself in her art. It seems like all those accumulated emotions just... Just burst out whenever we get close to her or one of her paintings. It's all my fault. But... Damn. More exiles from the art exchange. Oh. It's killing time. Guests of the Hello. Unkind. Just two of them. <sighs> Make it fast. Surrender Goodbye. Your Our Changli is so satisfying, man. Those attacks. Did you just like think blow up. You. Who exactly are you? No. People? You don't look like. Yeah, I killed them too quickly. My bad, I guess. If it's the paintings you're after, take as many as you want. We can always make new ones. Is it? Forcing people to make copies like a factory line? It's disrespecting the creator's dignity. Ah, uh, it's just a couple of stones and trees on a piece of paper for crying out loud. Even I could draw one with the flick of a... For the amount of paint oh, shit. And ink that goes I missed into it. them. I'd even go so far as to say paying those painters 20 credits each is a ripoff. How could you measure the value of creation in such a way? Oh, so you're also here for the money. Look, name a figure. We'll pay double if it'll make you shut up. How does that sound? Take it and scram. That's not what I meant. Then what the hell do you want from me? I... I want to expose everything to the public. A 
I mean, yeah, it makes sense. You to the patrollers? I want to let the public know about all the forgery and smuggling you've been doing. The way you coerce the painters and, and put their lives at risk for profit? I'll expose it all. Is, is something wrong? No. I, I can't remain silent about this any longer. This is the only way more people can learn about the truth. Well, you better think this through. The Shen Yuan Art Exchange is not a group you want to cross. I never painted for the art exchange's approval. If no one else dares to speak up, then... Then I'll be the one to do it. First, we keep these guys on close watch. Then, we need to catch them off guard. And the best way to do that is... It would just teleport back to <laughs> well, court hearing. That's quite okay. the story. At best, this merely proves our involvement in the incident. Yet the real culprit remains unknown. Your accusations are groundless. Allow me to remind yeah, But don't we have the recording? Did we not take that? Doesn't those it like just expose everything? On selling them and concocted the entire terrifying incident. Do you honestly believe her paintings would have earned a single penny without my intervention? No. Mr. Baitze, you're changing the subject. How ungrateful. She ensnared us in this debacle, and now you dare to lay the blame at our feet. But before we proceed, I wish to present this audio recording to the court. And there it is. Oh, Mr. Beitzer stopped by again, grumbling about the delay in getting Ming Yan's paintings to the Shan Yuan Art Exchange. If Yin Feng hadn't pushed her, she wouldn't have gotten hurt. Now she can't even paint. And our order is going to be late. She's been rebellious and a bit too smart for her own good lately. I just want her to keep her head down and work. Who knew she'd crack and cause that mess? So this is the recording that we're using? Not the one where like, this guy said that she's Ming once her dead? initially only making copies. Everything changed after you stepped in. Trickery, misinformation, and later on even threats. She was let down the path of forging artworks for you. I do understand that if her own heart hadn't wavered, none of this would have happened. But there was already no turning back by the time she wanted to quit. So saying she was the mastermind behind it all, that's just not fair. Even so. How is forgery a valid accusation? Nothing like that was mentioned in your recording, now was it? This evidence clearly shows that these paintings are no ordinary copies, but your way of making a profit. <laughs> There's no such thing as real or fake paintings. Okay. You're not fooling anyone. For it to be forgery, there has to be another original artist. These paintings are all the work of Ming Yan. Even if she made dozens of identical copies, it wouldn't be considered forgery. Mr. Bites, do you recognize this painting? <laughs> well, of course. It's Serenity of Shehua Village, the work of the arcane artist. Then can you tell the difference between this one and the others? Of course. This piece possesses a lifelike quality unmatched by any other, all thanks to the resonance ability of the arcane artist Ming Yan. However, judging from these paintings, it seems Ming Yang's ability never stabilized successfully. Except for this original piece. What does this have to do with anything? Do you have solid evidence to prove the differences between these paintings? What you're saying is all speculation. There's no guarantee a painter won't make mistakes, is there? Artists seeking perfection 
always choose the highest quality pigments for their most important pieces. During our investigation of the studio, I accidentally got paint on me and discovered something interesting about the materials used in these paintings. The original paintings had pigments that were pure and brighter, able to blend more naturally and retain color for longer. In yeah. contrast, the forgeries used pigments made from mineral scraps. These don't hold up the same, smudging at the slightest touch. We can distinguish the real paintings from the fakes simply by analyzing the ink used. Doing so only proves the so-called original painting is created differently from the others. Are you implying that Ming Yan is only allowed to use a single kind of pigment throughout her work? How is this supposed to prove that we are behind the forgeries? <sighs> Oh, she's about to ult. Because the original creator of Serenity and Shehua Village is me. The Arcane Painter. Wow. Who would have known? When I was a child, painting oh. was the only way I could express myself freely. Everything I did. It's like some reverse 1999 art. They all flow through the tip of my paintbrush. Okay. All that I saw lived within my paintings. Whatever I thought, I painted into reality. Dang. This power to turn fantasies into reality gradually caught the interest of many. Tales of the arcane artist spread far and wide. I took great joy in my skills improving. However, I discovered to my dismay that my parents were using my creations to turn a quick profit. No. They were sold at unbelievable prices. Some sought beauty in enchanted worlds, using the paintings as a distraction from reality. Others resorted to hellish nightmares to inflict torment upon those they desire. My what? own abilities had led my paintings astray. They were being exploited and everything was spiraling out of control. After I realized this, I began to fear holding a brush. I tried to paint without relying on my abilities, but my parents scolded me for it. They called anything painted without using my abilities worthless. After the family business fell apart, my parents vanished without a trace. They may have left <laughs> that's, a considerable mess. That's crazy. The freedom has also been returned to my Dang. brush. But it's not that deep. Like, Shihua Village was my first stop upon a ride. You'd think anyway. Alone. How Waters corrupt do you have to be? Mountains rest by the pain, valleys and peaks in the dream. I, mean, I guess it is that deep because you lose money, but. Colors of vanity washed away. Crazy. The painted world fades, forgotten today. A poem I wrote. Inscribed on Serenity in Xiehua Village. I know it's not that well written, but it's proof of my decision to stop everything I was doing. And that painting? Well, it became the arcane artist's final piece of art. That's pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie. Ever since that day, paintings with special abilities so unique, gradually faded from I guess. everyone's minds. To do like the whole painting thing, right? So it's supposed to look like. I never used my abilities to paint again. Crazy. Well, that was certainly a touching story. But I'm afraid your words alone won't be enough to prove you created this painting. Madame Juyo, to prove my statement, I request your permission to use and paint with one of these copies. Granted. Want me to like, hold yes. your hand or something? Ming Yang's experience has made Damn. me realize something. To create art that truly resonates, I must first accept myself. The paintings I drew in the past, they were heartfelt creations, pieces of my life. They formed my past and shaped who I am today. 
it's not just about proving a single painting. It's about so much more. If my forte is the cause behind all this, then I must take responsibility. I can't just let this go on and hurt others. Okay, she's about to ult. Let's go. Okay. Now she's painting. of Ming Yang's mind when she created it. Why? Wait, did you hear something? Or are we like in a domain <laughs> part? I painted it exactly like hers. That voice. Why is everyone still praising her work? It's all right. It's okay. She's gone. Soon. I'll be an even better painter than she ever was. Watch out. Morning aches. Damn. Okay. It's you. I've already done everything I can. Why are you still Oh my god. <laughs> really? Flying. I like this, this blue morning eggs. Looks interesting. Oh, I, I don't like that attack though. Oh. No, why am I like. I hate this boss. I won't use the character in a couple days and I already forgot to play her. That's crazy. Oh, you're dead anyway. Goodbye. What? Okay, well, now you're dead. I thought I could do half HP bar, but I guess not. have their differences but the heart and soul we put into them are the same but oh, this is like her weapon they can pull kind of or is it like i don't remember dang that looks sick though See, she fixed it. You shouldn't see me as a model to follow. Only when you connect with your truest feelings can you create an exceptional piece of art. Okay, the arcane artist. That was pretty cool. 
and cute and all that. So cool. So cool. Wow, poke champ. That's crazy. Now I wanna hold on, let me pick this chest up first. Look, shinies. But the voice line is so <laughs> really? Alright, this guy ain't saying nine. And then you. It's beautiful. Ah, oh, these guys were yapping too much for a second. Damn. Okay, but now we can get out. When I learned the truth, I was heartbroken. I believed that by sealing my forte, no one would get hurt because of my paintings. I never expected them to continue causing harm after all these years. But Rover's words made me realize something. It was never about the paintings themselves, but rather those who sought to use them to hurt others. And yeah, true. It's kind of crazy that Mr. Baitsu, people probably died because of you. Esteemed calligraphy and painting institution, yet you've suppressed the creative spirit and violated these artists' dignity, all for the sake of wealth. Everything they cherished has now become a tool for profit. I mean, isn't that what the art the industry is about anyway? The so. are just tools for your gain, insulting to both the original artists and their imitators. Set before you is the original painting from many years ago and the one I've just completed. Now, everything has been brought to light. We received oh, this guy wants to ult, but... security bureau ten minutes ago that they have taken the exiles into custody and found the location where the paintings were hidden. Mr. Beitze, do you have anything else to add to your defense? Very yeah, later, well. you will not be missed. We will reevaluate Ming Yan's charges, determine the Shang Yun Art Exchange's involvement in the incident, and conduct a comprehensive investigation as soon as possible. This hearing is adjourned. Uh, I just noticed her. Her abobas are huge. <laughs> that was crazy. The zoom in was crazy. Yay, we won. It's finally over. I didn't miss anything important, did I? You did great. <laughs> no, not at all. I was just coming up with things to say as I went. My palms were sweating the whole time. I definitely couldn't have done it if you weren't there with me. Thinking about the feeling when we were investigating the case together is what kept me calm during the trial. What I meant to say is... Back then, everything I said felt right, like I could just be myself around you. It felt so good to be that relaxed. Thank you for helping me through this. You, yes. You helped me find the courage to believe in myself. Thanks to you, look at everything we accomplished. The Sheng Yun Art Exchange is undergoing investigation. It'll be the end of their businesses. And the painters they coerced are finally set free. Thank you. I haven't felt this happy in a long time. I want to pay Ming Yang a visit. After all, she was involved in all of this, and I want to tell her everything. What do you think? My commission started with her, plus you and I solved the case together. Why don't you come with me? Is the commission over? Yes. I already had it taken care of the day we found out the truth. Oh, nice. All right, let's go. Bro, where's the music? It's too quiet. <laughs> the pauses are too long.
Oh, that was it. Oh, cool. Nice. Damn. Oh, well, it's, wait, it's not... Okay, it's not over, over. Uh, wait. Yeah. So I have to do this quickly. Let's go. Are you serious? Hello. Georgia? Your injuries. Oh, sh <laughs> The researchers have taken good care of me. A chat won't hurt. And you must be the rover. The rover, I heard indeed. About everything you did. Thank you for freeing me from those nightmares. You know what, Judge? You may seem soft and gentle on the outside, but if your boundaries are crossed, I think you can be tougher than anyone else. And I still owe you an apology. Forgive me, because I was so obsessed with wanting to be you, to be better than you. I've caused you so much trouble. I like that the pain it of looks these injuries sick. managed to put a stop to my obsession with imitating your paintings. <laughs> like, the, like the spiky Maybe ponytail that looks sick. I was never meant to be a painter to begin with. I brought you a gift. Scroll painting. <laughs> See? Only you can create a painting with such life. I still have a long way to go. This is your painting. Yep. It's the one you gave me when we first met. I... <laughs> How ironic. I've been trying to imitate you for so many years that now I can't even tell my own paintings apart anymore. Your paintings were never inferior to mine. Just look at this piece. Even you approve of its value. It doesn't matter who painted it, Ming Yang. I hope you can find your true self, whoever she is. I know you can do it. Thank you for bringing me this painting. Really. Yep. Good luck with that, I guess. To say, she'll give it some thought. During the few yeah. times we met, she was always passionate about discussing art with me. I think that fire inside her won't just fade away. Come to think of it, the deep discussions we had and the painting tools back then felt like true friendship. So, seeing her in so much pain, I just had to help. I don't want Ming Yang to lose hope and have someone who loves painting so much just disappear. Yeah. To be it's honest, pretty nice. I didn't just see this case through to correct mistakes or help the artists. Deep down, I... I didn't want to let you down. Ah, uh, here we go. I wanted to tell you this back at the mine, but the words just didn't come out right. Right? Thank you for being my friend and helping me through all of this, Rover. Yes, you have been great. While I have yet to uncover Actually, it's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Novel Arcane, Arcane Painter Every thing. Every moment with you is a new and special memory. Okay, you like can we... Thank you for your help, Jojo. This experience has helped me understand you and the world a little better. And she likes with the corn acting. Okay. Oh, wait. You seem to be pretty slow on the news. What's happening? <laughs> You've given me the courage to joke around. Right, the glasses are off low-key though. Come on. Um. Hmm. Well. She's like... Let's take it slow for now. This ain't the same person. <laughs> she changed completely. Oh, that was nice. Right. Uh, 
Cool. Oh, she gives that painting. Mm, cool. Nice. All right. That was pretty good. I liked it. Even though it was like a bunch of yapping. It was, it was nice. Uh, it made sense in the end. Cool. 